Welcome to Failure Mode Recall using the handheld remote controller. On occasion, a system may experience an error that does not reoccur. Sometimes, these errors are cleared with a simple reset of the system, power off, power on. However, regardless of resolution, the error will remain in the unit's memory. Using Failure Mode Recall, a service technician can retrieve these error codes and work to fix any faulty components. This video will show you the steps to enter failure mode recall using the handheld remote controller. Failure mode recall is a service and maintenance tool used to perform troubleshooting on MSY, MSZ, and MXZ models. It can be used to diagnose problems with both indoor and outdoor units. Before accessing failure mode recall, you will need to obtain a paperclip or similar pointy object. To enter failure mode recall, turn on the power supply. Press mode and to cool at the same time and then press reset for 3 seconds. Release the reset button, but keep mode and to cool depressed until all LCD display icons light up. Once they display, release mode and to cool. Point the handheld wireless remote controller at the indoor unit sensor and press on off to send the failure mode recall command. The green indoor unit operation light will display as confirmation. If an error has occurred at the indoor unit, the light will begin flashing and a beep will be heard at half second intervals. It will then pause and repeat the sequence until action is taken. The number of blinks and beeps indicates a unique error. Record the number of blinks and reference the indoor unit failure mode table in the service manual. It's important to note that the blinking patterns for failure mode recall differ from the ones of the troubleshooting check table. Pause the playback here to review all of the abnormal points. If an error has occurred at the outdoor unit, the indicator light will remain on for 3 seconds followed by 3 blinks and beeps at half second intervals. This sequence will repeat until action is taken. Determining the error at the outdoor unit requires additional steps. If the blinking light pattern indicates an outdoor unit error, point the handheld wireless remote at the unit sensor. Using the buttons, adjust the set point to 77 degrees. Next, go to the outdoor unit and observe the blinking light pattern. Record the number of blinks and reference the troubleshooting check table in the service manual. Additional operation indicator lamp flashes are on the next screen. Pause the playback here if necessary. Please note, blinking patterns for failure mode recall differ from the ones of the troubleshooting check table. Pause the playback here to review all the abnormal points. With the error code identified, turn off the power supply. Wait until the outdoor unit LEDs go out and then turn the power on. Return to the handheld remote controller and press the reset button to exit failure mode recall. This will reset the diagnostic function of the system. Reference the specific service manual for the system and follow the prescribed steps for repair. Be sure to adhere to all state and local codes. Once repairs are completed, the memorized failure code will need to be deleted. To do this, enter failure mode once again. Point the handheld wireless remote controller at the unit and press the on-off button. Next, press the emergency operation switch on the indoor unit. Return to the power supply and turn off the unit. Wait until the LEDs go out and turn it back on again. Finally, press reset on the remote controller. Repeating the steps to release failure mode recall ensures that no additional abnormal codes remain in the system. This concludes the Failure Mode Recall M-Series troubleshooting tutorial. Refer to mylinkdrive.com for additional resources and information.